It's one month. Sure. We also aren't quite sure how other hedge funds have fared in January, but it hasn't been pretty. Right. It just hasn't been pretty for Greenlight really since 2015. Um, and that's when they lost more than 20% in a year. And, and the problem is, is that David Einhorn has really embraced this value investing strategy when it, at the same time the growth stocks have been going bonkers. I mean, you look at Fang, um, Netflix has been one of his shorts in the past. Um, that was up 40% last month. You know, I, and I want to point out that all of, all of his top uh, disclosed long positions actually rose during January. Um, so the question is really whether whether that was entirely shorts that really that really hit performance or, or what happened. So is top five disclosed longs or air cap by our Bright House Financial, General Motors and Gold and as you say they right. all rose and they're great you know compelling arguments. If you're an Einhorn investor are you really worried about the bubble basket? Surely they're you know in that basket F until the timing is right for them not to be anymore, right? He, he, he'll change stuff up in the basket. Right, and, and I, think, I, I think if you're an Einhorn investor, you have to look back at his performance since 1996, which has been fantastic on, you know, from, from the long-term perspective. And he's been right about a lot of things. And certainly there are other people in the market saying, you know, technology stocks have, have gone farther than they should, momentum stocks farther than they should. Um, yet, you know, we just really haven't seen that reversal that would make a strategy like this work. Um, so, you know, I think, I think if you're an investor, you have to say, okay, um, either I'm going to get out because this is too much or, um, or I am going to stick with it because I really believe in David Einhorn. He's a smart guy. I believe, you know, long term he'll make a lot of money for me. And so I'm going to hold to it. And mind you, you know, investors are only allowed to leave um, on, a, on, a, on a very, uh, scheduled basis. It's not like there are going to be a ton of monthly redemptions after January. Right, because monthly performance is just a tiny indicator and, you know, typically these things are... And if you if you didn't want to be an Einhorn investor, you'd probably just buy the S&P, right? Right. I mean, I, th I think, like, look, uh, stock pickers generally have come under fire because they haven't matched the S&P's performance, but partly that's because the S&P is going is, is going wild um, and, and it's hard to be hedged in this environment. So you've seen a lot of fund managers all of a sudden become really, you know, really given to, to this rising tide. And, and, you know, if that turns around, you have folks like Einhorn stand to, to benefit. Um, the question is, when will that be or when will that happen and how will that look?